What would you do if you could walk into a store and buy anything you wanted without looking at the price tag? Well, that is exactly what I did at the Dollar Tree, and I have the haul to share. What do you say? Let's go. So a little while ago, I hauled some sun catchers that I had my grandkids do for my hubby's 60th birthday. And so as promised, I told you I would show you pictures of those hanging in our window with the Dollar Tree suction cups. So I wanted to include those here because they were such a success that I grabbed two more so this one i think is really cute it is the little toucan and then this here is the shark so what i thought i would do since i have the uh suction cups already and my grands had such fun doing these and i think they are a really adorable craft so we're going to make these and then i thought that um they would be great father's day gifts now the next product I picked up I was really happy to find. I've come across it twice before but both times it's been expired and I mean like weeks expired. So I was really happy when I found this and the first thing I did was go for that expiration sticker on the top and this one is good until August 9th. So it's the Olive Garden Signature Italian Dressings and you get three little individual sized serving cups and so I am really into making salads right now trying to counteract some of my sweet eating <laughs> so um, you know to bring a salad to work so this will be perfect these are what the little cups look like just to throw in my lunch bag and if anybody is curious it does say oh it's that so one cup is 130 calories so you know for what it is that's what it is um but i was really pleased to be able to find these and there weren't that many on the shelf so i did just grab the one left some behind for others now I know it's certainly a ways off and believe me I do not want to rush this year but I am like a Halloween fanatic and so I do an annual Mimi's Halloween party um, just for my immediate family and I love to play games and my grands are getting a little bit older so they can join in even more of the games and we do a prize bucket so I thought that these little figurines would be perfect to go in the prize bucket. I don't know, they're just, you know, not that dinosaurs scream Halloween, but Jurassic Park, they do look a little fierce. So I thought this would be a cute little prize. And so to spread out the cost of the party and just to find what I think are appropriate, fun and different prizes, I like to pick stuff up as I see it at the Dollar Tree. This one says it's a Dimetrodon, and this is a Triceratops. So in any case, I thought these would be perfect, so I was happy to find these on this trip. Now, if you've been at my channel a little bit, you know that I <laughs> love my makeup, which, by the way, I just realized I did not introduce myself. I'm Shelby. My channel name is a chick plus three. So welcome, everybody. But in any case, my love kind of love-hate relationship with makeup. And that is why I love finding it at the Dollar Tree because if it's something that doesn't work out for me, uh, the color is a no-go on my complexion. I only invested a dollar and so I don't get as aggravated uh, or have buyer's remorse over the product. So the first thing I picked up is this Wet n Wild and it is Mega Cushion corrector concealer now i really like the style of these cushion wet and wild products i've been using the cushion foundation a lot i like it because a little bit goes a long way and so i just really enjoy the smoothness of the product so i often don't try a lot of concealer products just because I am uh, getting up there in years 50 plus and so 
Sometimes I worry the more product that I put on my skin, maybe just more opportunities for it to settle into, um, I was going to say fine lines, but some of them are, are beyond fine. Um, but so, you know, that makeup can settle into your complexion. You know, when I see young girls with heavy makeup on, I think to myself, you know, it's like, if you maybe knew what was coming, it's like if your skin is beautiful. Maybe you don't want to put so much product on it now. Take advantage of the young years. But in any case, I thought that I would give this a try. And they also had a ton of um, new lipsticks. So I did get some shots of some of the different lipsticks, some of the different colors. I did not pick up any new lipsticks on this trip because I have enough and I was unsure. Some of the colors were pretty vibrant um, that I figured instead I wanted to not go totally crazy on my budget. And I was really intrigued because I found some new eyeshadows by Wet n Wild. And so it's the Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. I wanted to haul these because I am just dying to try these. So look it, I mean, this is a real neutral, just a light color. So just a little something for my lids, especially in warm weather where you maybe don't necessarily want a heavy makeup, but you want um, your lids to look a little bit like finished or polished. And then this is the same brand, another Wet n Wild, just a very like, uh, taupe color. These are kind of like putty, clay-like, so you know, I'm hoping that they'll look nice on. But again, for a name brand product for a buck, Wet n Wild, and I really like using creamy eyeshadows because the same thing, I feel like I don't get all that little powdery fallout that again can fall into those lines and creases around your eyes. So I'm really excited to try these, but I will let you know how, you know, I make out with them. And if any of you all have been finding these wet and wild eyeshadows, I'd be curious. So there's some other more vibrant colors out there that I should be on the lookout. So far, this is all I've been able to pick up. Now, these next things I grabbed, these are so fun. I kind of feel like we have turned into the balloon family. Like for every celebration, I like to get balloons. But you can do that when they're from the Dollar Tree because they're only a dollar. And these are adorable, and I know they would cost much more elsewhere. I mean, look at this. It's a Mylar rainbow with the clouds. I just thought that was super adorable. I've used these many a time in the past. They come with a little straw. You just blow them up. Uh, then you just like it self seals you pull the straw out and just stick the end together It seals nicely and I mean these last and last so I thought that was an adorable pattern and so to go with that, look at this, the unicorn. And these are good sizes. This is 20 inches and this is 22 inches across. So, I mean, that is a really substantial balloon. And again, I mean, you know, I say this, I know over and over, but getting your party items at the Dollar Tree, that is something that I think you just cannot miss with. The prices, you know, are absolutely ideal. So I was really happy to find these and I'm going to put these away for a summer birthday. Oh, and speaking of birthdays, look at this. I was so excited to find this. I've never seen it before. It's a pennant banner. Now the brand of this is Amscan. So that's something new, at least in my store. But look at the colors of this. And you do see the banners are like polka dot and chevron. It looks like you get four different patterns. And this thing is 12 feet long. How awesome is that? I mean, I saw this and the first thing that popped into my head was if you had a kiddo that was going to do a lemonade stand, you could string this up between a couple of trees, put their card table out there. That would look so 
so adorable or for a yard sale to draw your customers in. I mean, it is just so summery and festive. You could use it for so many occasions. I love that it does not say happy birthday or congratulations on it, that they just left it very simple. I think this thing is awesome. Now I wanted to show you guys these reed diffusers. I have never purchased them and I've had some hit or miss with some of the like air freshener type products at the Dollar Tree. So I would be curious have any of you ever tried these reed diffusers because the packaging looks quite high end and I'm thinking you know do I want to grab a few and put them away even for dare I say Christmas presents but I'd love to know what you think if it's a thumbs up or a eh, maybe I should leave it on the shelf. Now the next thing I picked up are these Reynolds Wrap aluminum foil sheets. Now call me crazy but I get these because this box fits perfectly in the drawer in my kitchen that I need to keep them in. I have a very small kitchen and finding storage space can be very difficult and so the Dollar Tree does sell their own brand of the aluminum pop-up sheets um, but they are in a longer box and they just don't fit in the drawer. These fit perfectly so this is what I get. You get 25 sheets and I love as I say that um, it fits in the space I need and then one sheet fits the cookie sheet that I use pretty much every day. So uh, that is why I always lately, once I discovered all of those nice little extras, <laughs> buy the Reynolds Wrap pop-up sheets. The next thing I picked up are these adorable string lights. Look at these. Now I wished that I had remembered I would have got these set up with batteries because Look at the sweet cherries. These things are adorable. They take uh, two AA batteries. They don't have a timer, just an on-off switch. And let's see, they are 3.6 feet long, so not a bad length. Really perfect, I think, for a tiered tray. I'm kind of a little bit tiered tray crazy still in my house, and so I have, I don't know, three or four of them. So I thought that these would look really cute. I mean, for the summer, I use um, strawberry in my dining room but then other times of the years I just like the vintage look of the cherries so I figured that I will use these in my dining room and oh speaking of summer decor when I can get my act together I mean it's not officially summer until June 21st right but I will get my decor up for the summer and do a home tour because I love sharing it with you guys. I mean, I currently like have nobody basically except a few family members coming around my house and I love to decorate it. So it makes me so happy to be able to share it with you all. So I will let you know um, when I get that done and I get that uploaded. The next thing I picked up are by Good Sense and it's the Ziploc bags and I got this because because it's the bonus box. It has 15 instead of 12. And I love these things. They are perfect for packing up leftovers um, that I can send home with the kids. So I just grabbed myself a box of those because I had used the last one up night before last. So that's everything I have to share for tonight. As always, I want to thank you all for taking time out of your day to spend it with me because I have so much fun that I hope I can bring a little fun to your life too. And until next time, everybody, please be well.